In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may our Lord be with you. Let each of us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your Father's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You come now in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people at the end of time. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. And we pray, O oh God, grant that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm, firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined, without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You are being enriched in every way for all generosity, which through us produces thanksgiving to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial psalm is, Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed, Blessed the man, man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. <clears throat> Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His generosity shall endure forever. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. May our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you'll have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, don't blow a trumpet before you, like hypocrites do in the synagogues and the streets to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have already received their reward. When you give alms, don't even let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, he will repay you. When you pray, don't be like hypocrites, 
who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. When you pray, go to your inner room. Close the door. Pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees in secret, he will repay you. When you fast, don't look gloomy like the hypocrites do. They neglect their appearance so that others, so they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have already received their reward. When you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, so that you may not even appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father, who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden. He will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. that everybody sitting here this morning I can't speak for those who are watching from home but the people sitting here are a pretty high quality Catholic type of person that knows their religion and comes to mass frequently because of that I'm thinking that you're thinking I heard that reading somewhere before from the gospel and the answer is yeah you heard it on Ash Wednesday and it's read every Ash Wednesday it doesn't rotate we get that same reading every Ash Wednesday the problem is that Ash Wednesday, especially if you come to services later in the afternoon, is a crazy day. Stop her, she's got ashes. Tackle that lady, she's got ashes. And that's what actually happens up at Allied Services. And the priest often doesn't get to talk about the readings because it's such a, a chaotic day. But that's an important reading. It's a very, and that's why we, they give it to us on Ash Wednesday. Let me just tell you a little something you've noticed. Now, I'm counting heads. About half the people sitting here in this church right now, I don't know about anybody at home, have glasses on. Now, in our day, one of the advances we've had is that many people have had LASIK surgery and all these surgeries so that you don't need glasses anymore. That's been an advancement in our day. Someday I'll get around to that. But we, we should be seeing better than we used to see with all the technological advances. But there's some things I can't see. There are things I cannot see. I don't care how good my glasses are or if I have 20-20 vision. There are things I cannot see. And that is what is in your heart. I cannot see what's in your heart. I don't care if I have the best eyesight in the world. So you may be doing a good thing. I cannot see into your heart to see if you're doing it for the right reason. Look at me. I'm so generous. Or if you're doing it out of pure charity. And I can't see that. I don't know what's in your heart. But you do. When you pray, is it so people will think you're holier than me? Or because you simply want to have a closer relationship with Jesus Christ? I don't know what's in your heart. I can't see that. But God can, as that reading made very clear. Your father who sees in secret, he'll repay you. If your prayer is sincere, your charity is true. He knows. He knows. He doesn't need surgery. He doesn't need Lasix. God knows what's in your heart. And he is the only one who matters. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, may they guide the church to increase in love, charity, and faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For strained family relationships, may God bring those hurting comfort and clarity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Paul Paparelli, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God, we beg you to hear our prayers. Let our faith be true, our love sincere, our charity genuine. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise. Grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offerings of a heart pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty to truly give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God, living and true, existing before all ages, abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you, who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you may fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in the presence of countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exultation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we praise you, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great. You fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You formed us in your own image. You trusted the whole world to our care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, we might have dominion over all creatures. And when, through disobedience, we lost your friendship, you did not abandon us to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek you might find you. Time and again you offered us covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. You love the world so much, Father, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Incarnate by the Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to the prisoner freedom, to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan he gave himself up to death. By rising from the dead he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in this world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, Lord, we pray, may the same Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. When the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. While they were at supper, he took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the 
similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. Blood of a new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the domain of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the acceptable sacrifice to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon this sacrifice, which you have provided for your church granting your loving kindness to all who partake of the one bread and the one chalice, that they, gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit, may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope Joseph, our bishop, the order bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith alone you have known. To all of us, your children, grant mercy, O Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray, my friends. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless us and all of our families. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends. We go in peace glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.